I've been teaching band for 20 years. And uh, I, I honestly believe that every child can learn to play an instrument. <laughs> Except James Morris. <laughs> and he's the only person that this lady has ever kicked out of band. Um, and she said, I tried everything. She said, we don't even have a triangle, you know, in the band, but I went and bought a triangle. And uh, she said, you just can't even believe how, I mean, he just back there just banged. <laughs> And uh, she said, so I, I, I think it'd be better if he would, uh, you know, uh, do study hall or something during band. So he got kicked out of band. But a few weeks ago, we bought some furniture and I borrowed his pickup truck to go pick up the furniture. And when I turned the key on, he had worship music playing in his truck. I, you don't have to be a musician to worship God through musical worship. You don't have to be musically inclined, but I'm telling you, and you know, you know what I'm talking about. You've been in worship services before where you sensed the presence of God like he was just all over the place. And you sensed him more closely than you'd ever sensed him before. I, I brought people to the church, some that don't even know Christ, some that are new in their relationship with Christ, or some that are strong believers, but they don't attend uh, a church that has our this style of worship and here's what they say things like this boy that is good music and I even had a friend of mine that was very new in the Lord and he would just bring people every week and here's what he'd say to them just wait till the music starts you don't believe how good the music is here okay listen we're not talking though about talented musicians we're talking about what they they didn't understand was he was trying to say to them, and he didn't know how to say it. You're going to feel God when they start singing. You're going to sense God's presence. He was trying to say to them, and he didn't know how to say it. You're going to feel God when they start singing. You're going to sense God's presence. That's what I'm talking to you about. I'm talking to you about entering the God's presence. But here's the sad thing. I'm, I'm just always straight out with you. Some of you only enter his presence once a week when you come to church. And then you try to make it the whole week without ever entering his presence again or living in his presence. And here's a scripture. I love this scripture, especially when I've had a bad day. I love this scripture. His mercies are new every morning I mean when I've had a bad day I'm, I want to I don't want to talk to you I just want to go to bed so I can wait his mercies are new every morning I mean when I've had a bad day I'm, I want to I don't want to talk to you I just want to go to bed so I can wake up and get back in his presence so last year when the Lord spoke this to me hey you you have left worship really out of your quiet time and i'm a pastor i should know better but i'm also a human so i went in and i thought if i don't do anything else i'm going to enter the lord's presence and i put on some worship music just right there on my laptop you know and man i just i entered the presence of the lord and it was powerful and that day everything went right i mean my timing was perfect everywhere i went everywhere i pulled up every phone call i made uh every word out of my mouth you know encouraging someone or answering a question uh, uh, i mean it, it just it was like the perfect day and the presence of god was with me all day but that's not the end of the story the next day i went in i'm man i love living in your presence i'm going to enter your presence i entered the presence of the lord and that day everything went wrong <laughs> I missed my timing on everything, you know. It's kind of like the garage sale, the thing you wanted. Oh, someone just bought that. You know, it's just, you know, that, that collector's item, that baseball is worth a million dollars. We sold it for two dollars. You know, stuff is like that. Everything goes wrong. Everything went wrong the next day. I said the wrong thing, did the wrong thing. Listen to me, though. But the peace and the joy of the Lord 
was with me just as strong that day. And I thought, you know, you're going to... But the peace and the joy of the Lord was with me just as strong that day. And I thought, you know, you're going to have good days and you're going to have bad days, but I'd rather have them both with Jesus. Yeah. I'd rather be in his presence yeah. all day, no matter what the day brings. Through all the highs and lows of life, I'd rather walk with Jesus and live in his presence. I am so excited about this new series, Living in His Presence. And I want to encourage you to watch every day. I want to encourage you to watch, to listen, to get the CDs, the DVDs, to let God speak to you. Because God planned when he created Adam and Eve for us to live in his presence. And Jesus came to restore us to living in his presence every day.